My name's Turkey Wire. I am back here with the video I was not planning on doing. So I'm going to ever do it again. I won't ever do a video again like this because this is just a test video. Today I went and I just got on Google and went to YouTube dot my videos uploads something like that and clicked a couple things got a verification code and according to YouTube I can now upload videos longer than 15 minutes that's gonna kinda be what this video is just testing that I felt good. I had to crack my back. I thought what I'd do in this video, I might have to do a couple things. In this video because I don't have anything planned so just talk till we get past 15 minutes oh and then it feel good now what I'm going to be doing this video is talking about you know I'm going to give you my top five favorite pouches it may seem like I'm spitting more than usual Cause I got Copenhagen snuff. You have no idea how happy I am to have this. Like I said before, if it wasn't for being so damn expensive, this would be my favorite dip there was. Like I said, expensive. Giving you a spoiler. Not this week, but next week. I'll be doing Copenhagen Snuff review and Copenhagen Straight Review. I got a roll of Copenhagen Snuff and a can of straight because I do not care for Copenhagen Straight. I did nothing but Copenhagen Straight for. About three months, two winters ago. It was during the winter. That's the only reason I can remember how long it was. We had a long winter up here. But I did Copenhagen Street for about three months, and then was finally able to get my hands on a different dip. I think that would have been Copenhagen Wintergreen. I think that was. Started dipping that again. Then I went to get more straight opened up that can and that smell hit and I just started gagging I don't know if there's some pieces floating out of my mouth or my fucking mustache gotta trim that motherfucker anyway like I said, Copenhagen Snuff is expensive where I get it. I imagine it is other places too. <laughs> For the roll of Copenhagen Snuff and a can of Copenhagen Straight, it came to $27 or something. And that's the only reason I don't do Copenhagen Snuff nonstop. I mean, it is expensive fucking shit. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know when, how much snuff costs around here. Now then, my top five favorite pouches. And the only reason I'm doing a top five and not a top ten 
because I have not done very many pouches. All together, I've done six pouches. So I'm just doing top five. Starting with number five. The only grizzly that I actually care to do. I mean, I I don't buy it, but at least I haven't bought it in two years. I have was the last time I had it. it was grizzly wintergreen pouches. To me, grizzly wintergreen pouches taste nothing like a long cut grizzly wintergreen. Wintergreen pouches, to me, just tastes like salt. I love salt. It's the only reason I can do it, and I fucking, I like them. But, when you get the juices from that shit, go down your throat. I don't even know how to describe it. It is fucking weird. Fourth favorite pouch. Copenhagen original pouches. I love all uh, 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 all the natural Copenhagen flavors. Especially original. But I do think I prefer the original pouches over long cut original, which isn't really a long cut. So, hey, okay, yeah, I got confused myself. To me, the original pouches taste almost just like this, just a weaker, saltier flavor. And I, like, I love I love the saltiness to dips, especially the pouches. I don't know if you noticed, but it's just getting smaller. You know, it's nice and easy to hold the snuff if you got a little pocket going. I have the pocket going on this side. But I put the snuff on this side. Thought I'd start giving this side a break. So it's not staying together too well right now. But anyway, my third favorite pouch. Mm. Camel Winter Chill. Now, if you're not really into dipping, and you don't, you're not really looking for the nicotine. You just want something to give you flavor. You don't want to sit there chewing on gum. Go for Camel. They are very cheap. That shit is fucking candy. Camel was the very first thing I ever did. Never got a single fucking nicotine buzz off of it. Game of Winter Chill. <clears throat> to me, Game of Winter Chill is I'm trying not to spit so much, but I can't help it. I would have to say Game of Winter Chill is like a combination between a winter green and half a pound of sugar but perfect combination I highly recommend it second favorite pouch camomello yeah and same deal and I mean the pouches are only like probably that big Thin as hell. They're like that thin. They got a lot of flavor. Camomello tastes just like juicy fruit. Not exaggerating at all. Camomello is a dipper's version 
of Juicy Fruit. Don't really know what else to say about it. My favorite pouch would have to be Camel Frost. This shit is unbelievably good. It's not like regular mint dips. And it's not like Skull Spearmint either. It's its own unique flavor and I mean you have got to try it. If you love mintiness stuff, go for Camel Frost. It is fucking awesome. I mean they come in little like oval shaped tins and I think it's 15 pouches of tin. I'll go through, I could probably go through two of those a day. And that shit is just fucking candy. You don't, you don't know if you're getting nicotine or not. Yeah. That's my top five favorite pouches. Now, butt munch has been back for a day and a half now. That motherfucker still hasn't talked to me. He's a fucking dick. I was told that Copenhagen did the Camo Cans, Wintergreen, Mint, and uh, straight. But I got the Camo Wintergreen and I got the straight with the snuff. The straight is not in a Camo Can. I was I was under the impression they were doing Camo with straight as well, but I don't know. Then again, maybe where I get dipped, they're just like, you know what, fuck you guys. You can you can get the wintergreen and mint camo. You don't need it straight. I only know, actually, I only know one person that does nothing but straight, and he's in Connecticut. There's not very many straight dippers. I do not mean that in a homosexual manner. I mean that is in the dip flavor. Not many that do straight. Everyone around here does. Wintergreen. Wintergreen or mint? Everyone around here, they just do wintergreen or mint. Almost nobody does pouches. I only know two people that do nothing but pouches. I actually surprised myself that these did not make it into that five pouches list. There's just something about them. I don't know. A buddy of mine, the one buddy of mine is the one of the only two people to do nothing but pouches. And he had these pouches and he wanted to camo. Wintergreen can, so 
traded. Yeah, like at the store where I get my dip, he gets it the same place, obviously. They did not do camo pouches. And I thought they were Copenhagen did that. Maybe I'm just completely half ass backwards, I don't know. Because they got camo long cup mint. Maybe they didn't do it with pouches at all. And what? I don't know. I don't have any of the mint camo yet. Don't know that I'll get around to getting it. Because I'm not a big mint dipper. I can do it once in a while, but I cannot do I cannot do it very often. Once in a while I'll get like an urge for mint. And I realized I should only buy one or two cans of mint lawn with a roll of something I can do every day. Cause probably would have been Six months ago now, I bought a roll of Copenhagen Wintergreen and a roll of Skull Mint. Copenhagen Wintergreen, I went through that quicker than shit. The Skull Mint, I had that roll for two months. I ended up giving one can away. Then it was another month before I even opened the last can of that roll. That's how I get an urge for mint. And then after doing it for a day or two, done. I don't want it anymore. Don't know why I never sold them. Could have sold them to somebody else. Traded them. Or just giving the last one away like I did the first one. I don't know why I did that. This video has gone over 15 minutes, so I guess we'll see if it uploads. And don't get used to seeing videos on Mondays. If you're wondering what I'm doing, my nuts itch. Yeah, don't get used to seeing these video videos uploaded on Mondays. This is just a test. If it works, then I'm going to do probably videos longer than 15 minutes the rest of the time. Unless there's videos where I just there run out of stuff to talk about. This video will be going up on Monday, so yeah. As long as this video actually uploads tomorrow, Tuesday, Kayak Grape will be uploaded. The Kayak Grape review will be uploaded. Thursday, Kayak Wintergreen. Friday, maybe a video of Butt Munch. Saturday, there will be a video. It'll be it has to do with gaming. I've been talking about Sunday video, just like the one I uploaded today. Remember, today's Sunday. But yeah, you guys said that's it for this video. Let's see if this motherfucker uploads. And if you want to follow me on Snapchat, you can follow me at Turkey Dot Worm. No capitals. No spaces. I upload stories to it daily. Yeah, I mean, it's just stuff about dip or random shit, so. Yeah. Once again, my name's Turkey Wine.